If ever there was a symbol of Chesapeake Bay, it would be the blue crab. But unfortunately, the health of the blue crab population is headed in the wrong direction. For the last seven years, the population has been at low levels. And in 2006, it suffered very poor reproduction. In 2007, the harvest was one of the lowest since 1945. The problems, pollution, maybe climate change, and overharvesting. Nitrogen and phosphorus pollution cause enormous dead zones in the bay, which drive crabs from their habitat. It also clouds the water and prevents sunlight from reaching underwater grasses, which are vital crab habitat. And warming waters have recently decimated underwater grass beds in the lower bay, beds that are essential for juvenile crabs as hiding places from predators like striped bass. Also, striped bass, which are very abundant right now, are feeding more on blue crabs because their favorite prey, the Atlantic menhaden, is also at low levels. Harvest pressure on crabs, well, we're really good at catching crabs, and most of them are caught as soon as they reach legal size, which means fewer large crabs, and large crabs are valuable in the fishery and they're valuable for reproduction. It also means a fishery dependent on new crabs spawned every year, and this is a very unstable situation. It's bad for crabs and it's bad for crabbers. The solutions, reduce nitrogen and phosphorus pollution, and do a better job of managing the crab population. We have one crab population bay-wide, and Maryland and Virginia have to work together to maintain its health.